All right, so with 5C, we're still at the auction here. And this time, we're going to assume that there haven't been any bids. And the length of the auction days is two days. Now, the book's going to have something different for that, so make sure you check that and change it. Also, we're going to have a loop to ask continuously for items and their IDs and descriptions. So until we enter a zero for the item ID, then we're going to keep going through that loop. I've got two versions here, and uh, version two makes makes use of arrays. So I'm not really going to go over this, but if you want to check it out and kind of look at it, um, we're just going to do version one though. But I have provided the pseudocode here, and also everything up here is coded. So I've got two programs, um, version one, and then version two if you want to kind of look into that. Uh, let's go ahead and start with the flow chart over here. So we've got start, declarations, just two of them, into your ID, so the, uh, the item ID, and if it's not zero, we get the description, and then we're going to output the ID, the description, and a statement that says the auction length is two days. Uh, the minimum bid is zero because there have not been any bids yet. And then we're going to ask for the ID again to see if we're going to exit the loop. And if we do hit a zero, then we stop. And that's it for the flow chart. Um, pseudocode is pretty much the same way. You can kind of look that over. It's set up uh, very similar. And um, let's see if there's anything up here I'm going to need to point out. Probably just this line right here. When you go to enter a string value, uh, string variable, and you have spaces, because I want to have, you know, a sentence, a description about this item, uh, you have to have this line before you, you know, get that description before you start typing that in. You have to put this right here. It's very important with the placement. You might be able to put it where this enter description is and have that enter description up here, but. You know, you can try that out yourself, but you just have to have it right before you change from uh, something that's an integer to something that's a string that's going to be using spaces. And if you're going to have spaces in your string variable, then you need to use get line, cn, and description, because that's our variable we want right there. And it's going to be like a sentence with spaces and you know, periods and stuff. So that's pretty much it for pointing out things, but I'll run the program real fast and show you how it works. ID is at 46. Description, this is an item. And so, see it just, you know, outputs uh, the ID. Description, we've just said two days for the length of the auction and the minimum bid is zero because there haven't been any. So let's uh, check out the second version too. Uh, typically, it would be end program, but we're on this part right now. So we'll do this again. 46. This is one item. Uh, 47. This is another item. 48. This is the last item. And I'm just going to clear out this uh, debugging area here. Uh, Command K. It still knows that I need to hit something. Like uh, it's it's asking for the ID, and I never typed in a number and pushed enter. So it's still it understands that it's waiting for that. So I'm going to use the Sentinel value to exit the loop, and everything is displayed. And I just cleared out this area right here because I wanted space. To, you know, wanted it to be kind of clean. So. You can see that making use of arrays is pretty cool. It displays everything at the end. So that's about it for this problem. Um, I guess we'll head on to 5D then. I'll see you in the next video.